Hello. Hello. Uh, I am not complaining one bit. I was just surprised they have moved the uh, stuff in Medeco from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side of the screen. <laughs> yeah, and it's not the UI. Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. I you know, like <laughs> it's not it's not like it's immoral, but <laughs> but it is but it but it is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, so how's your day? Yeah, fine. So just a lot of work as usual. <laughs> Excellent. But yeah, doing uh, the balance between personal um, stuff and professional stuff is not always easy. <laughs> <laughs> I I am with you the whole way. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we'll give uh, people another mm. minute or two to get on. Mm, yeah. Uh, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, because if we are only two, it would not be so useful. Uh, well, they're, 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 they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Rito and Steve also uh, showing mm. up. So, yes, uh, let me just answer a phone call real quick. Hello. Hello. How is Michael? And there and there. Wait, I'm supposed to. Am I sending audio now? Uh, you are. Hello. You are. You are. I forgot. It's not always on. <laughs> uh, hey, you, you, you found it all the way over on the right hand side. So, uh, uh, you know, how to, how to figure out what to do. So uh, that, that was exciting, too. <laughs> I acquired caffeine. Yes. <laughs> that was the important part. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so I, uh, do you want me to drive, uh, Michael? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Let me okay, see cool. if I can find the, the notes. Yeah. Uh, and they, they should be roughly where they're, they should be, I think. But, uh, let me, where oh, we sh if I, I was sharing that, a screen. I hate that the, um, Agenda item doesn't automatically have the agenda in it. Cool. Uh, I bet we could fix that if we needed to. <laughs> now that we now that we know what all the information is, which which we don't know before we get the things approved, like uh, no, no, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, but yeah, uh, so. Uh, And um, Rito, Rito, and oh, good, we have Martin, uh, Martin also. So I think all, we have all the cool people, and we're letting people just uh, uh, sign themselves in on the attendee list as they as they join. Uh, and uh, give give uh, people a, a moment to uh, think clearly, and then we'll. Uh, We'll get started. So the other the other thing that's exciting uh, 
for the chairs is that uh, we used to have the same hedge doc or the same document, uh, whatever technology we were using for each meeting, but now we get a new one every meeting. So uh, there's more th more stuff to uh, there's more stuff to uh, update every meeting for when we're putting together the uh, agenda like this. But uh, oh, cool. So um, and I apologize if you all hear by dogs. I would I would love to to mail them to you all um, if if uh, anybody is interested. But uh, if, if nobody takes me up on that, um, so we are, we have all our, uh, where the notes are in GitHub and where the notes are in Hedgedoc and uh, where the meeting info is and where the meet echo information is and where Zulip is and stuff like that. And uh, everybody is signing into uh, Hedgedoc to uh, keep an eye on the notes and uh, this is the first time we've. This is the first time I've mentioned uh, the uh, data tracker. Sorry, the meeting dates on a call. Uh, might be good for me to uh, just go ahead and put those up and let people know uh, these things have been added to the uh, to the uh, uh, data tracker. So. Uh, we, you know, uh, you can actually go look and see what our, uh, you can actually go see what our meeting dates are there and uh, create calendar entries uh, if you need to do that. Um, but that did happen. And uh, uh, so I wanted to be sure to mention that. And um, we are under NoteWell, uh, and we have the link for that in the notes as well. But, uh, and there's also um, there's also if you look on the uh, data tracker under meetings, yes. um, if you look at the there where it says future meetings, yes, right. If you want to bring that tab to the floor, yes. you look at future meetings. You see there's a button on the on the right hand side. Of future yes, future meetings just above where you point there, above right the there. X. Yes, no, a little bit lower. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Just see the you see all those that X that says search in the search bar. It says to the right of future meetings. Anyway, that button has a calendar entry that has all the meetings. And if you oh. import that into your ah. calendar, then oh, like up here. That, yeah, right ah. there exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not know that. Cool. So that's a that's a calendar entry that will bring give you all of the meetings uh, that are scheduled for seller. Um, Perfect. It's almost like the 21st century. Um, cool. So that happened, uh, and I'm downloading that. So uh, I should be in the right place. Uh, and um, how about how about I do it this way? Uh, I can uh, I can uh, let people look at the uh, interim meeting minutes uh, right now. Um, that are here while I and I can go ahead and type people's names in uh, while you all look at the uh, draft meeting minutes. They are from October. I th uh, sorry. Um, they you know that that's that's yeah that's the that's the October meeting, which was our ninth meeting. So that's the, that's the right link. Cool. Uh, does anybody have comments about that? As I as we are. Signing everybody in. Fine for me. For me too. I don't know if there's some relevant update that someone wants to give from um, um, No Time to Wait. Um, I spaced going to it on when I was in Prague next to next door because um, I was busy, but. Um, um, you guys were also there. I don't know if there's anything that happened that's relevant that needs to go into these meeting minutes or something or not especially. Um, it is more about uh, very there is a big request on a GPU acceleration for FFV one because it is slow too slow for some people. So it is the biggest feedback we have and some command that 
yeah, it would be good to, uh, to have um, the specification of flag and so on. Uh, Does it actually affect the spec? I mean, people want to do it. I understand that. Uh, no, I mean, but they, they want to use it. So we need, <laughs> there's some pressure to to, to, to make it happen. It, to, uh, to make it happen, yes. <laughs> this uh, classic thing. <laughs> Uh, is 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 that a uh, is that a thing that we should discuss either on this meeting or on at the next meeting? Uh, we could include it. We have FFE one version four on the agenda already, so maybe okay. we could discuss it in that. Section. Okay, 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 perfect, perfect. Uh, other than that, I had no time to wait. There were some presentations uh, just about the impact of the working group's efforts. Um, there's one, one person from the United States Library of Congress talking about uh, some federal agencies deciding to make FFB1 and Matroska a preferred format, uh, partly based on the standardization work that's happened here. Uh, other than that, not, not too much that we don't know. It was just like a lot of um, implementations uh, kind of coming out of the work that we've done. So it was overall, I found very encouraging to our work. I mean, you, I want to make sure I'm using the right word. Preferred? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, maybe I can give you the link to a press release or something. Cool. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get back to there. Uh, and uh, just make sure we... Uh, so did any did we have any did anybody uh, have any thoughts about the uh, draft meet minutes from the previous meeting? Nope. Which is fine. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um, so next item, just going through uh, the uh, just going through the status update. Um, so we have we have uh, exciting news and uh, and uh, some uh, work to do. Uh, so uh, Matroska is now officially showing up in the RFC editor queue uh, in the data tracker, which means uh, it should pop out after the RFC editor finishes working on it. Uh, and FLAC, uh, we have all of the discuss. Uh, we only had one discuss, if I remember correctly, but we had like five area directors saying, I support this discuss. So <laughs> we, re we really didn't have uh, five or six people that we were uh, working to uh, resolve issues with, not just one. Um, when all of the discussions are cleared, that means that um, uh, the specification had enough uh, 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 positions to uh, be published as a standard track document. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and we do have one thing on the agenda to talk about. And this is mostly uh, just making sure everybody uh, understands for anything that we need to talk about in um, in uh, future specifications as they go through uh, the publication process. Um, but uh, also want to mention that we have uh, three, uh, th we have four uh, drafts that we've adopted and three of them expired uh, since, since our last meeting. Uh, so I'm mostly uh, checking on, uh, uh, we're still doing all of them, right? <laughs> yes, I, I hope so. I maybe know. one of them was FFE1 version 4. Uh, it had a, maybe a week of being expired, but I updated the, oh. the new version. Oh no no you're you're, you're you're good you're yeah you're, you're good oh, okay you're good. all right then I'll be quiet you're, never mind no 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 you no I you needed you needed to take a victory lap <laughs> uh, okay well then good job good job you're welcome okay thanks <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's not a huge deal that things expire but it is good for us to uh, update them just so that uh, when people look to see what our documents you know what documents we're working on and things like that. 
uh, that they will uh, be able to find all of the documents that they should be looking at. Um, yeah, I guess I will update the expired one. I just need to regenerate them. Yeah, Change yeah, the yeah. Machine number. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just, uh, I don't know how much time you all spend looking at the data tracker, but uh, this is what the data tracker looks like for anybody that's not in, that's not sitting with us on the call, basically. Uh, but you know, here are the active internet drafts, and you should pay attention to those. And here are expired internet drafts, but the ones here are. They are expired, but they have been adopted by the working group. So you can still find them. But when people see these are active, that you know, they kind of know what that means. And if they find some that are expired, um, they, you know, it's like, should I read that? You know, it's a working group. They have the same kind of questions like I just asked. So uh, it's good to get, uh, it will be good to get these up here. <laughs> If, if that makes sense to people. Yeah. So, uh, so, so that's a yep. Um, And I'm sorry, I did not notice who will. I did not notice who said that uh, they would regenerate those. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Okay. Perfect. Okay, on that, um, we should talk a little bit um, about uh, our plans for um, uh, our plans for those discussions. Uh, sorry, uh, for those documents. Uh, do we uh, have a sense of when we might reasonably think that they would be finished? For, well, for Matroska, there are many different ones. I, after Matroska was almost done, I started working on the tags because I think it will be the fastest. It's... Uh, which, uh, and I'm sorry, which, which, which one? The tags. Oh, okay, the perfect. Tags to, uh, yeah. Because I think it's fast. And after that, the uh, uh, really important one is the codec uh, one. Uh, but that one, I have really no idea how long it's going to take because there's probably a lot that needs to be done. It was really. Uh, messy in the original document so i think if we really want to do it right it's going to take a while that's why also i prefer to concentrate on the tags to get this over with sure 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 and and we 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 celebrate that and you're saying the the seller dash codec is the, yes. the one that we okay I'm, yeah I was gonna say, I'm just make, really just making important. sure i'm doing this Um, Steve, um, mm -hmm. do you uh, do you feel like you will be able you'll have enough uh, support from other people in the working group that you won't have to do that all yourself? Uh, sure, yeah. There's always people reviewing. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I I say I just I just uh, I just I just wanted to give you the chance to say, oh, there, this is something I need help with. I will help you. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. It would be great and, uh, if perhaps if the different documents just had a different lead. If someone that would be great because then um, that person uh, knows the buck stops with them, uh, particularly with deciding whether to merge things or not. They can um, do it or not. Um, I think we're very um, polite <laughs> about merging things. In other words, we wait for too many people to to comment. Maybe sometimes, but. Um, <laughs> Um, that's all I'm saying is it may be, may be good to have one person as a nominated different person for each document nominated is kind of the, 
the czar who's keeping it keeping it all in their head mm -hmm. cool i was hoping that moritz uh, but he's not here today i could work more on the codec because i think he's about among all of us is the one who knows all of these best mm. I think you wrote uh, many parts of it too. Yes. I will, I will let you. I will let you. Sorry, let what, you, what did you say? That was for codec or for control? For uh, codec, no I codec. thought. Yeah. Cool. Uh, to so, would somebody like to send a note to him about that now? <laughs> well, not right now, but I'm in contact, yes. I've been uh, doing a lot of work on the libraries with him, so, yeah. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Like I said, just let, let us know if you, let, let us know what, what kind of answer comes back, uh, if you would. Um, the other, the other thing, uh, Without so, I was just I was just looking at this with uh, Michael, and uh, I'm finding I'm finding another I'm finding another uh, screen. I'm sorry. Um, so, if you look at the milestones that we have. Uh, in the data tracker, which uh, I actually did do, um, and I'm looking at them now. What we have, uh, so I marked uh, flight done. Uh, we have the, the one thing left to do on it to work out, but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But we, uh, our specification for the Matroska container, um, if I understand this correctly, uh, so what we did was we put in the Matroska base specification and codec and tags. And uh, since we did that milestone, we've added uh, seller control and seller chapter codex. So uh, we've got the Matroska container to the RFC editor. Um, and um, so that's finished. We could mark this. We we could move the for is it is it the right term to call these uh, Matroska extension documents? Well, they're not. A, well, some of them are uh, yes extensions like the control or chapter codex. Mm -hmm. uh, tags is just a definition of uh, metadata and. Uh, Codec is how you put a codec inside. It's not exactly uh, external, but it's not internal to the, the <laughs> format. It's really in between. So I, for me, it should be a different milestone, and probably each of them could be a milestone of its own. Uh, cool. So we can. Uh... We, so uh, I could put in, uh, I should, I'm sorry, I should be typing. Uh, so for uh, codec and for, t uh, let's see. So we said, uh, if we're going to do uh, different milestones, uh, what's a reasonable date for, for tags? You know, end of the year, maybe hopefully earlier. I think uh, for I'm, tags, I'm it should it should be easy, but I don't know how much time I will have. But yeah, you can since it took so long for the others, you can put a milestone for the end of the year. But the codec, I really don't know.
Okay. And I'm fine putting, uh, I'm fine putting uh, these, uh, I'm fine putting dates down. Uh, the, the so the other thing would be uh, uh, when is there is there a, is there a time by which we would need to uh, have delivered that? Okay. The sooner the better, but we want to do it right. The yeah, sure. thing is that technically you cannot use Matroska without knowing how each codec go in, goes inside. Mm -hmm. uh, except people already know and there's code everywhere so it's a known thing um, but it's better to really have something properly defined for each codec at least all the major ones mm -hmm. so yeah it would be good to have it uh, done except so, yeah. for me it depends how how uh, precise we want to be i did one document for av1 and that like it was like 10 page for just one codec so if we mm -hmm. want to do that for the i uh, know 30 codecs that are known for matroska it's going to be a lot of work a lot of writing and the more writing the more uh, uh, problem that can arise so i mean for me it's really we're going into the unknown. So, uh, Steve, w would it make sense to um, have each one of those documents be, or each one of those codecs be its own document? Well, that was my original idea. Uh, but that means we would have to start from scratch. Like right now, we have a document with a lot of things already. Mm. Um, I mean, the proper way would really be to have one per codec, but then we'll have like 20, 30 different documents that we manage. So I don't yeah. know if it's uh, really good either that way. Usually the RFC, they have one document for all the already existing codecs and there is a new document, but only for the new format. So at the beginning, we need to summarize in one document uh, all the already existing codec, I guess. I think so, yeah. I think even though that's not the best option, it's, it's mm. the one that makes sense. Mm. Or at least uh, all the main, the major of codecs, maybe not the not so used codecs now. I don't know. Yeah, but at least uh, a package with uh, the biggest one. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of uh, trying to help with strategy keeping in mind that uh, I don't write these documents and I know who does. Um, the other thing I'm wondering about is um, if we had at least the major codex that the people who are asking us to use our stuff would want to use with that codec, uh, if we had one document that had those, how 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 big is that? Uh, I mean, is that like is, uh, if there are thirty codecs that we just said, is that five? Or no, that's I mean, for video, you have the MPEG one, so MPEG one, two, uh, maybe yeah, four as well, mm -hmm. uh, and then H uh, two six four, H two six five. And then AV1, but I think we can leave AV1 on the side. It has a well yeah. the document for now. Uh, uh, yeah, Sierra and things like that. We don't care too much. Uh, maybe some raw. Uh, like... No, no MPEG free. <laughs> sorry, but oh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. that, yeah. that 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 one two that's... four one two four ABC HEVC. Yeah. 
So that's for video and for audio, uh, same thing, the common one, so MP3, uh, AAC, uh, I don't think we need to do FLAC. Uh, and uh, what else? I mean, PCM. P PCM, yes, is, uh, it is important for us. Okay, so what I, what I, what I, what I, of course, Opus. I don't know if Opus has a mapping. It has an RFC. I don't know if they have a mapping already for Matroska or not. Uh, Michael, I'm remembering that we've had a conversation about Matroska and Opus in the same sentence, or, or am I confused? Uh, yeah, so I think that the what thing that I was kind of questioning a couple months ago was they wanted to do some more Opus work for essentially um, SIPish slash Medelco ish type use. And I couldn't understand why they didn't bring it to the seller working group. That's that's was my um, and I think it was mostly ignorance. Um, but um, that's what it was about. So there, there's some other Opus expertise elsewhere that um, we can reach out to, I think, and find again. Okay. And, and yeah, so where I was headed with this, probably I probably could have asked the question more directly, is if we have a document that, I, and I'm making this up, but uh, if we said uh, this describes the... Uh, this describes, for instance, uh, AV1. Uh, it's a lot easier for us to go to uh, somebody who knows about AV1 and say, we would like you to help us on this document. It explains it explains how to do this with AV, for AV1, rather than saying, mm -hmm. we'd like you to help that's us exactly with this very large happened. document. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly what happened uh, when they released AV1, they asked me to do the document that was somehow the same as the 4MP4, except I just left that document unattended for years now, and MP4 keeps being updated. They had a lot of fixes and not changes, but explanations, etc., which I didn't uh port to matroska but uh, yeah but in the end it's pretty much the same between mp4 and ev1 there's not a lot uh, mm -hmm. container wise for everyone cool uh and i'd like and i'd like to uh let uh martin uh take a victory lap also for uh already having the matroska mapping in its rfc good job <laughs> Cool. So we have things to think about there. Um, and I think Michael and I can, I think Michael and I can uh, uh, do the right thing, updating the milestones. Um, maybe even after this call, uh, but we will figure that out. Uh, but like I say, this is right here in the, on this screen is where we would do that. So um, cool. Uh, by the way, in the list, you have audio or video, but you don't have subtitles, and there's actually a lot more common ones. Well, not a lot, but there's plenty of different ones, uh, like text, SSA, web VTT, and things like that, which mm -hmm. also need to be in there. Excellent. Cool. So we're saying we will have a large number of codex supported, and we hope that that will be in a number of documents, not just one big one. Um, I think that you know, you know we'll, we'll we will do the right thing, and we will do things that don't drive the uh, don't drive the authors crazy. But uh, but cool, okay. So. Uh, we've had this conversation and we've got this conversation done and okay, excellent. Um, uh, 
Is there anything else we need to say about uh, the additional Matroska specifications? Not from me. Cool. Uh, Michael, what I think I would suggest is that we put, uh, we put uh, codec and tags in their own uh, milestone uh, or milestones. Uh, yep. we'll, we'll, we'll decide that. And uh, we will leave uh, these other two uh, out for now. Uh, they will not be. They will not be tied to a milestone yet. We've adopted them, and we can work on them. That's all fine. They're just. They're just not. They're just not tied to the milestone. Does that sound fair? Yeah, especially if they were moved yeah. to a separate document, not to block the rest. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Cool. So, Michael and I know what to do. Excellent. Uh, and uh, and we can write that down. So that gets us to uh, the uh, flack ballot that uh, that we are finishing up, uh, and like I said, this this is uh, Michael. Tell me when to quit talking because this is mostly just letting the working group know uh, something that you probably need to know. Um, so we had uh, the picture types that were uh, defined in a specification from the year two thousand. We moved those definitions to an IANA registry, and that gave us a new normative downref for RFC uh, 2083, uh, which is... Um, well, actually, which, it's, it, it has nothing to do with IANA. Uh, there's no yeah. IANA registry for that, those picture types. Uh, yeah, that wasn't the point. The point was that there was something in there that wound up with a downref. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay. So I, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I was confused. Uh, but that that still lets me say the thing I was going to say, which was um, that. Okay, Michael. This is a conversation that you and I don't want to have, um, because. Um, There are what fifteen picture types, something like that, and that's the only one that has a reference that I saw that was not to the uh, to the uh, ID V V ID three V two document. Oh, there. Uh... I think we have 15 or 16 types defined, and those are names, all like uh, uh, cover, uh, media, uh, performer. They're yeah, just yeah, names yeah. Okay. describing okay. what front. But there's okay. one specific cool. type that says yeah. uh, this picture has to be of the type PNG. It has to be a PNG picture. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Roman. Uh, felt like that had to be normative. Um, I don't know really why, but um, I guess it's fine. Uh, mm -hmm. But the other types are just, you know, names. They're, they're just, that they are just text. Yes. Cool. Uh, and excellent. And so that ans that answers that answers my. Uh, and thank you for interrupting me. That. Uh, that uh, corrects me and but lets me still say uh, what I was hoping to say to the group, which was um, if we do have a normative reference and a specification um, to a uh, to to a document that is a lower maturity level, um, which in our case would probably be would almost always be uh, informational. Um, 
we have to identify those uh, at last call time, so that so that people can look and take the take that down ref into account when they're providing comments, and uh, and uh, the. Uh, we, so I, basically, I, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I read in RFC eight zero six seven that it's no longer uh, really required to have it in the uh, last call, and it's something that can be deviated from. It's B BCP ninety seven. Cool, uh, and that's 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 new since I that I'm I'm pretty sure that that's new since I was an area director which was like four years ago uh, now. And um, so Murray, I, I did talk to Murray about this and he said uh, that he would be talking to the ISG uh, how to proceed. And uh, when I was an area director, that was always that you would say, oh, we will have another uh, ITF last call and it will be short. And we'll just ask, Does you know, we've identified this uh, down ref. Does anybody have concerns about it? And uh, and the answer will almost certainly come back no, um, and then they will they will say this is no this is no problem that Martin has done everything that he needs to do and we can go forward with dash fourteen. Okay, it's my my understanding, uh, and thank you thank you for uh, correcting me on when I got lost. <laughs> um, So, uh, we did have uh, we did have uh, item on the agenda for uh, FF uh, V one V four, and um, where did that go? Someplace up here, yeah, this. Uh, except I need to blow this up to a larger font size, I'm sure. Uh, but we did, Dave did post this and uh, we did have uh, some discussion of it on the mailing list. Uh, is there, uh, Dave, Dave, is there anything that you'd like to ask for help with especially? Um, I, th I think there's a bit of what Michael was mentioning earlier where uh, some people might be too polite about waiting for too much feedback. Uh, I'm not sure if these issues are just stuck with waiting for more support or if uh, some of them just need um, to uh, get past more of the criticisms or, or feedback. But yeah, the, the, this kind of just organizes the open topics of FFB1 version four. Um, Perhaps an additional topic in addition to what's listed here would be any considerations in the design of the encoder or the encoding that um, might help it be more friendly for GPU processing. Um, it, you know, it's because it's possible that even if uh, FFE1 version 0, 1, and 3 aren't very GPU friendly at the moment, partly version 4 could be more so in the future. Um, but I don't know, each one of these had a little bit of discussion in the email list, but uh, I don't know, just have to do some work to nudge that forward or encourage the contributors that there are. Cool. I don't know, Jerome, if you want to add any updates, because a lot of the pull requests I think that are stuck are authored by you. Yeah, we are on post. We need, I need to focus on it. Oh, still start on my side. So uh, I still have them in mind, but yeah, uh, no time for it. <clears throat> then the other lead author, uh, Michael Niedermeyer, isn't on the, the call today, unfortunately. So do we actually have some content in FF V1, V4 that, because that's my understanding was that we didn't actually know what V4 was going to do that was so cool. 
Well, part, partly one of the reasons for the version four specification is that it resolves a bunch of the uh, workarounds that had to be documented for versions zero, one, and three. So in version oh, one, okay. zero, one, and three, there's a lot of parts where it says, uh, this is supposed to be the case and it's supposed to be very cleanly designed, uh, but because of this history, we have these accommodations for it. So in version four, it's there's a lot more points of clarity. So I think actually the page count of version four might be more brief than the, the prior versions. If if all version four is says, here is a clean uh, greenfieldish um, protocol and doesn't do anything else, just gets rid of all the, the historical, you know, accommodation, then that's worth publishing to me because that accommodates a simpler uh, design with less code with, you know, like that, right? To me, that's worthwhile publishing on its own then. We don't have to have anything ma magic in it. Yeah, that's a. I mean, um, I think that's a good point. I wish uh, Niedermeyer was here for his feedback too. Um, but yeah, maybe we should reply to the email list of, of this proposal because okay. my my uh, my concern about this proposal is um, we before with uh, the fix we we would do on v three it would be incompatible with uh, FFV one v three old decoders and breaking the compatibility several times is maybe not a good choice. So I would prefer to, to break only once. So with a fix from V3 plus the new additions. So I'm not sure to, to separate. I'm them not to sure what the new, I, I, I understood there weren't a lot of new additions, but, but if you're telling me that's not the case or they're just not well understood mm. yet. We, we want to, to have additions. We need to, to, to decide about the scope, but uh, doing a version with only the fix of v3 uh we would break the the bstream compatibility um too many times i think so it i have concerns about that i prefer to to have only uh one one compatibility break when we we do the fixes for v3 plus the new additions we plan to do for uh, v4 So is that is that one specification or two? Yeah, what one specification only the V4. So we okay. it is two we need to to to, to to clean up V4 with all the V3 compatibility stuff and to, to be clear about that, but I don't think we should uh, publish the, this version um, when we don't have new features for V4. So the first step is to, to agree about what we remove from V3, but then we need to, to add uh, the new features before publishing. So it is two steps. Okay, that makes perfect sense. at least to me. Any yeah, thoughts from anybody else? Uh, it does to me too. I can, I'm reviewing the document where the version four deviates and sees that it is already uh, breaking. Um, so I agree with Jerome that we should not break compatibility too many times. Yeah. And and I, I do understand the point that uh, it would be good if we can, uh, if we can say, uh, yes, we're breaking compatibility, but uh, when you move to version four, these are the things you can do, and then people can decide whether to move or not. Is that about right? Mm, I'm not sure if I'd encourage anyone to use version four yet because we're not completely sure how to validate it. Is it is not stable enough. Yeah. Right, right, sure, yeah. And I, that's that's that was my understanding about only, only breaking compatibility breaking backward compatibility once. So there is no urgency because V3 is currently used and it works well. So um, we have a time and just doing that in one shot would be better than being stressed and publishing it uh, quickly, in my opinion.
Okay. Um, did, um, so when we were talking about feedback uh, from NTTW uh, about uh, CPU and things like, did I understand the feedback to be uh, uh, GPU for the graphic? Uh, GPU, GPU, yeah. Mm. Uh, is is that something that is that something that requires uh, changes to the specifications or just um, to the implementation? Potentially, we need to to study uh, to study um, where are the bottlenecks, and with uh, a GPU version of V3 in order to improve V4. So it is part of the of the of the, of the work on V4, but uh, we have a GPU version of V3, and we see where are the, the bottlenecks. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. I repeat myself. Sorry. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Is there anything else that we need to say about that? Or does anybody have? Oh, Michael's on the call. Did everybody know Michael was on the call but me? Michael Niedermeyer, I'm sorry. Uh, perhaps he arrived in the middle of discussing uh, FFE1 version 4. Um, but I think just, just Michael, so you can catch up, we were just discussing the email I sent to the seller list server. I was just kind of summarizing open pull requests. Uh, and we were discussing next steps, just being kind of like nudging the contributors of those pull requests. Uh, Michael Richardson had a proposal to publish version four as it is, as uh, it cleans up a couple of the exceptions that are added to the prior documents. Um, but Jerome mm. noted that we should not the, proceed with just that. Just for clarification, the, the cleanup uh, from V3 is not yet done. We should do it. So to, to remove or not to this, we should decide if we remove or not uh, the exception we have in V3 for having a clean V4. For the moment, it is not yet done. So we need to do it also. I see. I could make, I could volunteer to start the pull request for that and mm. then we could continue the conversation there. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. Is there anything else we need to say? No. Okay. Uh, Jerome, you said uh, the last time we met, mm -hmm. think back, think a long way back. <laughs> uh, but you, uh, the last time we met, you said that uh, you've got a patch for uh, FFV1. No, uh, uh, Mikhail Nidam. Michael Nidayameyer uh, had a proposal of patch. Oh, okay. For V3. Okay. Uh, so uh, there is a request for comments on FFmpeg devil uh, list. Uh, so he has a proposal, and we need to convert this proposal into a specification in uh, FFv1 uh, v3 update errata. So. There is a, some discussion about how we could do. Uh, yeah, we need to to finish this discussion. Um, me and uh, uh, Michael Nidamaya. The the issue is uh, um, the the proposal from Michael um, breaks the, the FFV1 V3 specification, but actually the V3 specification is not clear about uh, the, uh, the odd number, uh, the odd width and height. So in any case, whatever we do, um, the specification is, is lacking of clarity um, mm -hmm. with odd width and height. Mm -hmm. so Perfect. Just to, to be clear, odd width and height is totally fine if there is no chroma subsampling. It is odd, odd width and height and chroma subsampling. So the chroma part are, um, are not complete. So it is the reason there is an issue. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. Um, 
Nova command on that. Excellent. Um, let's see. So uh, is the okay? I, and uh, Jerome had the uh, had the uh, things in the email about the links to the uh, track ticket and the uh, FFE one ticket. Um, nice. So I, so I could put these I could put these in the minutes uh, about right here. Excellent. Cool. Uh, is there anything else that we need to say about that? No. Cool. Perfect. And thank you. And thank you. Uh, thank you guys for cluing us in. Excellent. Is there any other uh, business that we need to talk about? Not from me. Not from me. Cool. Okay. Uh, there's there's one thing. I, I, it's not really important, but um, I wasn't able to join the Meet Echo until uh, Jerome sent me a alternative link. Uh, I don't know how you all got in. Um, I um, tried to use the link on uh, the um, seller page, the data tracker seller page. Um, meetings. This is the one I used. Oh. So I don't know which one you used in the past, but it is on the data IETF data tracker. Okay, yeah, because on, if online go, conference link. If I go to the data tracker, I get a different link, and that didn't do anything really. Uh, Was your link from the agenda page or the meeting materials page or from the meeting from, from the meeting meeting materials page? But as <laughs> As I see it, it's the same link as the agenda page. Mm, yeah, that, yeah. One, that, did, that didn't work for me. I don't know why. All right. Well, let's try again next time and see what happens. Uh, right. And uh, actually, uh, actually, you can you can, you, you can give you can give the chairs. Uh, uh, you can you guys can give the chairs an action to uh, poke at that and just make sure that it's that they are exactly the same that they're the if they're the same they're supposed to be if they're supposed to be the same they're, they're the same uh and if they're not what happened uh but but uh we could check that or spencer screen can, sure. screen screen capture if you can um when it, if it breaks next time okay and we'll, we'll we'll bring it up we'll bring it up if there's maybe there's some other issue that we've not yeah, seen I like you a, see it, it once and then it's corrects or there's a cash yeah. issue on, I, uh, I I I I had it, it was a little bit odd starting for me, and I didn't I couldn't figure out if the uh, the weirdness that I was seeing was mostly just that it looked completely different than it usually does when it popped up. <laughs> uh, with you know, yeah, with a, a revision with, in November. Yeah, and, and, and I and I'm not complaining <laughs> one bit, but I'm just saying I was I, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, that would be for the 2024-01 and 2024-0, uh, it's not 02, I think it's actually 04, I apologize, um, uh, meetings. Those are, those are meeting numbers, they're not months. So don't, don't ask, don't ask what happened, but our meeting numbers are not in ascending order through the year now, and it's Spencer's fault. 
Uh, cool. Is there anything else we need to say? Nope. We got. We are finishing exactly on time. This is still the best working group I've ever chaired, and it's not close. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Bye. Have Thanks. a great one. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Bye.